Hello guys and welcome back into another video. Let's do a quick market recap why the market dropped as well as I have a lot of important stuff to talk about. So I have to talk about gold as well as um, you know silver. You know I've made a video on gold. We've talked about that major major level of breakout which I will be going over gold since it is approaching a very very nice resistance around the 172 level so i have a lot to talk about gold especially on the monthly time frame we're definitely setting up on the monthly time frame as well as silver which is setting up for a downtrend breakout as well as a breakout above the downtrend and overall i have a lot to talk about so make sure to tune in to the end of the video now overall the highest you know we have Inflation, okay, a lot of inflation concern over here. This is why the market is dropping. Okay, we have talked about this in the yesterday's video. Banks reported bad earnings because of inflation fears. You know, it came out on their report. So definitely, you know, there's a lot of you know bad news going on with inflation. Today we also got some news, you know, China saying that their economy is not doing that well. You know, it just came out on CNBC. So we definitely have a lot of interesting stuff going on since banks were supposed to have a great year this week. Taking a look at SPY, we're down around 1%. You know, year to date, we're down around 5%. Okay, it's not, you know, a great year for SPY right now. Now, if we actually take a look at the SPY technical analysis, you know, as I said, you know, we broke off of that major, major level of support coming in for SPY. We broke that off and we were talking about that 450 level so if we actually take a look at spy we're holding strong around that level as of right and now we closed barely at the level of support and we can see this is kind of like a triple bottom going in here for spy so it is definitely at a major major level of support for example you know if we actually take a look at apple you know i've been talking about apple today on discord you know it actually closed below that level of support so a lot of these stocks are looking very 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 bearish right over here now let's talk about gold okay let's talk about gold because gold had a incredible incredible day today we actually gapped up on gold and it's up over 1.5 percent which is a lot which is a huge huge candle for gold now overall i'm looking at the gld ticker symbol this tracks gold okay just this just tracks gold it's not like a mining company or anything but taking a look at the daily okay we have been talking about this gap fill on the last video so again i made a video you know three weeks ago on gold and it filled that level of gap you know we entered in and today you know we filled that gap now taking a look at the daily time frame if we zoom out a little bit you know, let's take a look at the two day time frame. We're about to hit a major, major level of resistance. Okay, so as you guys can see, we're about to break out of this symmetrical triangle that we have talked about on the video of gold. So as you guys can see, we're about to break out. Now, this is a massive, massive pattern. You know, we're bullish on the daily. And then if we actually take a look, we're very, very bullish on the monthly now. The higher the time frame, the more confident. And this setup has been forming since 2011. Now, what happened at 2011, 2008? We had that crash, okay? And again, you know, feds started to print a lot of the money right over here, which caused a huge run for gold. So again, gold is a inflation hedge. So as you guys can see, you know, gold ran incredibly after the 08 crash because of inflation, you know, Every time we get a crash, we try to print dollars. So taking a look, you know, we're about to break off a major, major level of resistance. You know, we've been forming this setup since, you know, 2011. So this is definitely a huge, huge level of resistance. You know, if you actually take a look, just search up resistance. Again, this is a inflation hedge. And this is coming up right in the news now. What we actually take a look at is silver. We can actually take a look at silver also. And taking a look at the daily level of you know silver, silver is also looking to break above that level of support. Taking a look at the resistance, we're about to hit, you know, overbought. So we can definitely expect a pullback. It does look like it's already up a lot. So we can definitely reject this. But overall, you know, silver, gold, 
all of them are looking to break out and this has to be on high watch even though inflation is, is horrible for the market you know there's always money to be made in another market which is gold and silver right now what you guys can actually also do is buy up silver coins i have some of them but overall you know this looks very very interesting even taking a look at the weekly for silver you know we can see around 2008 okay right after 2008 so you know what usually happens is you know we have these phases you know we we dumped back down you know we were just trading sideways and then you know we were just printing money over here so we were just printing money over here and then this caused the after effect of the inflation and that is what people are expecting for 2022 2023 you know are we going to get a after effect for silver and gold so all of them are looking very, very nice taking a look at the daily chart. So let's remove this. And especially since silver is actually extremely, extremely, extremely cheap, you know, $22 per share. And we're about to break this downtrend. So overall, everything is looking good for inflation. The market has been pulling back very, very hard. You know, I've been talking about Qualcomm a lot this whole week. This play got invalidated, so I'm not playing it anymore and I'm not watching it anymore. And, you know, taking a look at basically NVIDIA, we broke off all the major level of support. You know, AMD was a solid short around market open because we did break that level of support. And pretty much the market continues to die. Now, there's a lot of fear going on, you know, SPY. There's a lot of fear. Keep in mind, you know, we have had a incredible, incredible bull run for the market. So definitely, you know, we're expecting a 10% correction so around around 430 is what we're looking at you know we can see back in september of 2020 that was around a 10 percent correction so that is what we are expecting we are at correction levels especially we have this head and shoulder playing out okay this is a solid head and shoulder on spy okay we have the left shoulder we have the head we have the right shoulder and we're about to break down okay if we're gonna be breaking this level of support at market open it's going to be getting very very brutal and this is a major level of support for spy so overall very very simple video for you guys um hope you guys enjoyed this video you know i wanted to bring up gold and inflation again because i've covered it you know three weeks ago i also had some people you know buying into some leaps so congrats on that you know if I actually take a look at gold you know we alerted right around over here okay right you know right around december 14th so right over here at this level you know we, we have alerted um gold it filled the gap and it's looking to break out very very soon so if you guys did enjoy this content make sure to subscribe to the channel and overall see you guys tomorrow at market open you know i haven't been trading this week i only traded some iwm shares but overall i'm just watching shares for now just be very very careful the market is very very brutal right now and there is a lot of money to be made once we break the downtrend. So please understand that. Just don't put your money in yet. You know, once we do break the downtrend, once we see signs of reversal, there is going to be a lot of money to be made. So overall, hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys tomorrow at Market Open. Bye bye.